Gordon is heading back to camp to do a first check of his remote cameras. One or two casualties, most of them intact. That's how they're supposed to look. This is how they look once an elephant has got a hold of them. <laughs> do you know what, I could probably repair that. But just how good has Gordon been at second-guessing the Tigers? Oh my gosh! Ah! Wow, look at that! Another one! Another one! Gordon struck gold. Images like this of Tigers is precisely what we need. Just look at that. They are such amazing animals. You know, if ever there was an animal on this planet worth saving, it just it has to be the tiger. Gordon has four images, but they may all be the same animal. He'll have to leave his remote cameras recording until the end of the expedition, and then compare all the images to see how many different tigers are living here. In India, where tigers are trapped in small areas, George can easily see them with his own eyes. Oh, look at that. And there were two cubs. There's an adult tiger about 100 yards from the car. So that is a female with her two cubs who are about a year old. Oh, it's, they are beautiful, beautiful animals. I mean, oh, look at that. It seems slightly unreal, actually, I have to say. I mean, seeing a tiger this close it, in Bhutan would, would be just unthinkable. I mean, it would never, ever happen. It's a privileged view. But these young tigers face an uncertain future. When that male cub reaches a certain age, he, he'll have to move on. And it's not clear what he would do. He can't certainly occupy the same range as the other males in the park, so he'll have to go. It's unlikely he'll get far beyond the park boundaries. Even tigers within reserves are no longer safe from poachers, who supply the Chinese medicine market with tiger bones and body parts. 